This is the main performance space of the Roundhouse Theatre in Camden Town. As you can see, we're surrounded by uh, a structure of cast iron and wrought iron. That's the old building, um, part of the old building, and it supported the timber structure that supports the roof. My role on this project was to be an interpreter. The first thing I had to do was understand the existing building, the structure and the existing brick walls uh, and the shape, the shape and the form and the volume of this space. Once I had interpreted the building, and I did this through drawing, so we drew the structure, we drew the columns, we drew sections through the building, and, and by drawing the details by hand and on the computer, that's how I learned to interpret the building. Now, once I'd interpreted the building, uh, we, then, we then could intervene in the existing building. So the first thing we did uh, is to introduce a new balcony in this space. Now, this balcony uh, supports seating on the upper tiers. Um, so when there's a performance in the main space, this, this is used uh, to increase capacity of, of, the, of the volume or of the performance space. The second thing we did was to introduce the new uh, ring beam structure that supports the tension wire grid. Now both these interventions had to be discreet in this space and not interfere or cause discord with the existing structure. I think the success of the building is really the discreet nature of those interventions so that you know the, the new balcony here and the tension wire grid, you really don't notice them. And the old sort of the old building really kind of takes centre stage, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes to life. This grade two star listed building comes to life, and you see the ironwork, the original ironwork, the 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 the, the, the brickwork and the woodwork. And just looking up, you mentioned the tension wire grid, and it's like a, a tennis racket. You kind of walk over it at kind of. 18 meters up in the air, and it's like walking on a cloud. But this is for the technicians to be able to move around quickly, setting up shows. And so not only is it beautiful, but it's really practical as well. And all the materials that you chose, like the steel um, and the kind of the flooring, are really robust and hard wearing, so that when you have 400,000 people a year in this space, and there's loads of theatre shows and circus and music and gigs and stuff, and private events, it's turned around all the time really quickly, that we don't have to spend weeks of the year rebuilding it. It's just robust. It is, I suppose, like it when Dockery and Stevenson built it back in 1846, it was steam engine to come in, be maintained, and shunt it out again. Yeah. We're now doing something else. We're bringing audiences, giving them a fantastic time. They can go out into the night and feel yeah. that they've been to a place that has been uh, uplifting for them.